So uh, this is the mantra, what I thought of sharing, because my presentation at the most, uh, to run that particular chat GPT or output, it might take hardly one minute. Uh, uh, before that, the introduction part is much more interesting. And this is for all the seniors who are trying to use the chat GPT or for that matter, any person. My mantra is when you give an assignment to AI, explain the same as if you do to the first year article assistant or intern. And when you inquire a request for help from AI, explain the issue as if you explain it to your senior most domain expert. That means you need to differentiate how you can make out a detailed explanation when it comes to assisting or the way you inquire to the senior most domain, domain expert, because you don't put the inquiry just like that. You will be more professional when you approach. That's, that's the need of uh, when, when you communicate with the, any of the AI uh, 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 tools. And the last one, never hesitate to experiment with AI because there is nothing to lose and every failure is a gain, both for AI as well as you. Because whatever you fail, AI will be learning out of it and try to improvise so that it will help you out down the lane. So it's going to be win-win for both. So these are the three mantras before I get into the assignment. And with that, uh, let me move ahead uh, to the case scenario, what exactly is. Uh, this is the scenario, not only in uh, bank audits, of course, I'm referring to the bank audit perspective where I'm trying to consolidate around uh, 13 months CCOD file. Uh, because when we try to compare, we need to have multiple files so that I can see the pattern or the trends between various months. So I'm trying to use this consolidation and also to perform analysis in such a way that I can use chat GPT as a tool. And this can be done not only on the CCOD, you can even relate it with your GST files where you have 12 months of TB or 12 months of purchase register, whatever it may be. And everything is not in a proper format. If you see, uh, let me just reduce the screen. If you see, this is how the charging of the data is, uh, wherein the data into multiple rows, multiple columns, uh, there is no proper uh, alignment in terms of fixed width and all. This is the challenge. Now, how you can deal with this? So I've made this particular prompt in the chat GPT, wherein, as I said, the communication part is the most important. Uh, so here, before I drop in, because you need to understand that there is a limitation. I can upload at a time 10 files, not more than that. So I said, okay, I'm going to upload these uh, 13 months. But before considering that, considering the limitation of files, I'm going to upload only 10 files. Once you receive, just confirm yes, yes, receive. Don't give any brief description of, about the files. Then I'll share three files. I said, okay, yes, receive. Then I've shared the rest of the three files and then started communicating. As I said, I need to be so patient as if I'm training an intern. So I'm trying to give each and every aspect. And I can't demonstrate in this 10 minutes because as you know, it might take to analyze the file. So this is the communication. But what ultimately it will be doing is it will come out with a ultimate result. But before looking at the result, one more important aspect uh, I want to share is, assuming you don't have internet where you try to use this chat GPT, or for that matter, you don't have Excel itself, and you want to perform something wherein you want to generate an Excel and share it with, you, uh, with your colleague. Now in that scenario, that uh, that that was the thought, uh, thinking point for me, and in that scenario, how I can best utilize the chat GPT. And the solution is, as the way we use macro, macros in VB or Excel, why not use something like Python? a free tool where you can download, request the GPT to generate the Python code so that I just need to run that Python code in my system and generate whatever I need without using internet, without using the application like Excel and all. That is what the challenge, what I thought I'll throw to the chat GPT. And this is how the after generating various files and I said, okay, let me have a Python code to generate that and it started with communicating. Yes, this is what you can do. Python code, okay, how you need to download a Python, how you need to install. These are all pretty simple steps. As I said, don't try, uh, worry, and don't uh, 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 hesitate to experiment on the GPT. Okay, now once it has trained, what I've done is I've just downloaded the Python version. Okay, and I said, okay, how to run the Python? He said, okay, you open a notepad. Okay, this is the notepad. Let me open it with a notepad. And it said, okay, I'll share you a code. You just, just copy paste the code wherein you mention the path where your multiple files are there. You don't need to do any other thing. Rest of all, I'll handle. So I said, okay, fine. I'll just change the path. If you see the code, it says uh, your path. And this is where I've changed the path where I have my files. I don't need to bother anything about the rest of the things. What we'll do, we'll run this Python code and see how these 12 files, as you can see, these are only 13 files over here. 
and there is no Excel file in this folder. But once I run the code, we'll see how Excel is generated where all these 13 files are consolidated and a particular report is ready for that. So to do that, I just need to understand a couple of steps, which again, chat GPT has helped. What it said is, okay, you open a command prompt first. I said, okay, fine, I'll open a command prompt. And then next, you go to the drive where your folders are there. Okay, fine, I said, I'll go to the drive where my uh, folders are there. And these also how to use CD and all, you, you can directly request the chat GPT. Then it said, okay, type the Python and just type the file name where you have copied the code. I said, okay, fine. I'll copy the code file name and I'll say yes. And just see how many seconds it will take to consolidate all that. Now you said processed files, saved combined files into the particular folder. You go to the folder. You can see earlier it was 13 files. Now it has created a 14th file wherein if I open that particular 14th file, the kind of information what I was looking for in terms of consolidation, this is what it is ready. So I have all that 5,000 or odd, 600 odd rows generated across all your 13 files in one place. And you can perform along with the source data also where you can perform. Now you might say, okay, fine. Uh, there is a fixed bit. How about the delimiter? I said, okay, why not take up that? This is one report, which of course, presently I'm handling in one of the audits. Uh, this is a delimiter of special character called pipe. Now in that case, what I have to do, I have again approached the chat GPT said, hey, I have a delimited, and this is the code what you have given earlier, but my data is now delimiter. In that case, what I should be doing? He said, okay, fine. Take this code, rename the name path with your file name and run it. I said, fine, okay. Uh, here also you can see only 12 files. Go back to the code. And uh, just to uh, show you, I'm, I'm going to use a uh, notepad to see what was the code. And uh, this is the code. As you can see, I just changed the path of that. Come back over here, file name. Go back to your command prompt. And I say Python, paste the file name, run. And depending on the complexity of the file, it might take time, but definitely it will not disappoint you in generating the result. Okay, earlier it might have taken 30 seconds. This might take 45 seconds or at the most one minute maximum. I think I can afford to that time uh, in that balance what I have. Uh, I'm sure in a couple of seconds, it's going to generate the consolidated file of all those 12 months ADT RPT. Uh, we'll just wait for a second. Of course, I believe- last two minutes. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, that time should be sufficient for me. Uh, so this is what, again, recollect those three mantras, uh, which I've displayed earlier to all those seniors who are now, yeah, now we are, our file is ready. Go back to the folder. These are the 12 files. And this is the 13th file, which it has generated where it has consolidated all those 12 files at one go. We have all the files, including the source file. You can perform any analysis like interest spread or multiple facilities for the same loan or whatever it is. So again, going back to recollect, this is the most important whenever you try to use your GPT or for that matter, any AI to ensure that you follow these commands uh, or, or uh, I, I would say mantras to perform the better way, the way what you're looking for. So I'll end my presentation over here and go over to the board.